Rich Mencio again. We're going to discuss the three predominantly bad shooting techniques. First, we have the flat palm. Okay. Second, we have the flicked wrist. Third, we have the two-handed shot. The flat palm shot, all net fixes it quickly. The severity of the arc forces you to push your fingers down, which brings your palm off the ball. So wearing all net correctly, you cannot have a flat palm. So when you release the ball, at the end of your release, your hand must be pointing downwards. If your hand is pointing downwards, that will impart the spin on the ball. If the spin is perfectly backwards, then it leaves your middle finger last. If it goes to the side, then it did not leave your middle finger last. That's one of the fastest ways to determine if you're shooting it properly. So the second is the flicked wrist. Being that your straps are on relatively uncomfortable, when you flick your wrist to the side, it's twisting on net, which is applying even more pressure to your fingers, which makes it extremely uncomfortable. And so your, your mind, you are thinking, okay, this is, that's, not, that's not good, it's very uncomfortable. Well, that's telling you that your shot is, is bad, your form is bad. So now I'm gonna tell you to think about just your middle finger and your middle finger only. So when you point, when you finish, I want you to point your middle finger down to the ground. Okay, this is gonna help break that habit of that flick. So I want you, whether you're shooting or whether you're just standing, you can just put it in the air and flick downwards. You're gonna finish with your palm facing down. This is gonna help ingrain the correct muscle memory to get rid of the flicked wrist. So here you can set up right up against the wall and you can just flick it, middle finger down every time, down. Now, that's gonna start instilling perfect muscle memory to get rid of the flick. So straight downwards. The two-handed shot, the way we fix it with all net is we take the shooting hand on the ball, we take the non-shooting hand behind the back. Now, you can't shoot with two hands. So now you're ingraining nothing but just a pure one-hand technique. And when you release the ball, you're gonna, you're gonna know as soon as the ball leaves your, leaves your hand if your middle finger is touching it last. If it doesn't, your mind's gonna make a little adjustments in your wrist to where it starts leaving the middle finger last and it's gonna give you that perfect back, back spin and after a while, like it did to me, I actually started getting a blister on my middle finger from the ball leaving my middle finger last perfectly Putting, applying pressure to your to your shot, and it's just all net is is the name is for a reason because you will hit more all net shots than you've ever done before. That's why we came up with the name all net.